Well, this did not go at all as I planned. So let's see what happened in the only two days of ownership I've had of the G87M2. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so we're in the taxi, super stoked because we're gonna get the M2 just now. It's been like uh, two days late because here it's super difficult to insure these high value cars. Anyways, uh, let's go and see what this car is all about. Okay. Let me just give you a couple of very, very fresh and first impressions about the car. So, first of all, I don't know why, but the car in comfort efficiency in the base mode with everything turned down is much more bumpy than I thought it would have been. And uh, I am going on quite uh, nice roads. I mean, the roads are beautiful here. so. Uh, probably it's because it's so new, so the car needs to settle down and uh, the interior is such a beautiful place to be in. I mean, this central console with all the monitors and all the software, I'm sure that it will take me a couple of days to get, uh, you know, acquainted with it and to set it up the way I want. But my oh my, it's such a beautiful uh, upgrade from the F87, really changes you. The materials are beautiful, the touch, and uh, many people have been down talking on the steering wheel for it being like on many BMWs, uh, thick and thicker than the Porsche ones. Uh, that, as you know, having won the Rally of Sanremo, I know quite well Porsches. Uh, but still, for me, it's great. Actually, I find it that it uh, helps your hands not to get tired because they're not closing and crimping so much down on the on the steering wheel. But you know, this is just down to personal preference. Beautiful, very silent for now. We're just, uh, you know, breaking in the car and uh, very, very interesting. I am also here on some beautiful, beautiful roads of Gran Canaria, just cruising around. And these are the same roads we are mapping down in order to bring only the best of the best to the driving experience and the co-pilot experience that are going to be very soon uh, from the month of December available for uh, your fun as a, as a tourist or a local here in the Canary Islands. I had a bunch of content, uh, uh, both uh, at the dealership when I got the car out and uh, then uh, uh, afterwards, but I can't use it because I don't want to show either the dealership itself, their name uh, or uh, the car's uh, license plate because the dealership in the end act very well and they gave me a way to get out of this uh, big problem. So I do not want to damage them directly. Uh, but I think that is correct for somebody having such a bad customer experience because of the product to state it and given the fact that I'm influencing on cars and you know we've always been talking with GI Aris's but I'm trying to add something more to the channel because of the driving experiences and everything we're bringing of new uh, here in Gran Canaria I think that uh, you guys need to know so let's look how it broke down and then I'll tell you why and what actually happened. So the car has uh, exactly 300 kilometers now and uh, I'm in the mountains where I was trying to uh, learn the roads and everything and learn the car and the car just stopped because of fuel starvation issues from the in-tank fuel pump uh, when you go uphill. So I'm very, very disappointed in this, to state it mildly, and waiting for over an hour for somebody to come and pick the car up and take us both uh, down to BMW. Not good. Okay, so the car, uh, basically I was going uphill and the car stopped. 
fuel starvation. And the reason was that uh, the low pressure fuel pump, the one in the tank that uh, gives all the fuel to the engine that then in turn has two in, uh, inline uh, high pressure uh, fuel pumps, uh, failed and was not delivering fuel uh, in a condition of uphill. And this even if the, the let's say, the tank itself was uh, three quarters uh, and full before. So this is something totally unacceptable. And uh, I uh, immediately diagnosed this without needing a diagnosing reader, but I also had it, so I also diagnosed it in that way. And uh, I had to wait for over three hours before somebody would come and get me because I was in a remote part of the island and then two hours or more in order to get back to civilization with this service truck. Um, so all in all, uh, I believe that uh, the car has some uh, more critical uh, electrical problems in there because the pump didn't fault uh, mechanically. This is an electronic fault of the controls and also the phone charger the inductive charger this car has was not working well. It was cooking my iPhone 16 Pro and it wasn't charging it for some reason. It showed it was charging but the actual battery <coughs> through the use in the car was either staying at the same level or going down. So of course there was also something going on. This uh, uh, made me understand that I needed to opt out from this car immediately uh, since I was in time because when, uh, when this happens and the car is uh, so problematic from the very beginning um, this is uh, not good and it's going to be a life of difficulties in my opinion because this is not the only car you guys know that both myself and uh, for, for friends and customers I've been through cars a lot in my life and uh, I've seen uh, many even uh, uh, Mercedes uh, AMG GTR car uh, had very similar issues of my best friend uh, and uh, same thing bought off a showroom and it took a one year legal fight to get the money back and get another car and uh, I was not putting myself in that condition so I immediately requested the money back unfortunately they're not fighting it so we can do that also because they had no other M2s available so there wasn't uh, any choice to, to go to another car. So the point is now what to do. I'm uh, evaluating a few options because I need more cars in order to you know deliver the driving experience. My GR Yaris, uh, the super beautiful one that had so much love and work on it, is going to be arriving at the end of the month but of course we also are a family, so we need to start with at least a couple of cars and then more if the driving experiences go well. So I would like to get some more GRs, of course, but I want also wanted, and this was the idea behind the M2, a higher end car to give the experiences also to who, who wants to try something very high end. So uh, as I'm speaking, I've been obviously thinking a lot about it and uh, maybe I will revert to an Audi RS3 because this car is, uh, I think, very accustomed uh, to the roads we have here with its four-wheel drive traction and this new generation rear differential, the car can work quite well. So let's see if we can uh, land one of these cars <coughs> in the coming days and uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm very sorry that the content is, uh, is uh, difficult in these days. I had already set up a new team here and we were supposed to do a beautiful content uh, shooting, uh, both video and pictures on Friday evening, but already the car wasn't there anymore, so this wasn't possible. But in the next weeks, we will have the new car and then more after that one and uh, we will do weekly a professional job and uh, we're stepping the game up as I promised. Uh, all in all, by the way, uh, I had also reached out in, uh, in this very little time to BMW Spain 
And some very young guy in the press office uh, replied to me saying that uh, they were not interested in cooperations because uh, they did not think that it was, the exact word was relevant. So they only work with relevant press so, uh, and influencers. So, <clears throat> of course, I'm coming from Toyota and uh, this is what they said. And maybe they will be happy now that I'm not even owning, owning the car anymore because, of course, it wasn't the right answer to give me. Cheers now and have a great one. Bye.